Good morning. Today, uh, our talk will be about the shocking truth about obesity and overweight. There are key facts here. Worldwide, obesity has nearly tripled since uh, 1975. In 2016, more than 1.9 billion adults, 18 years old and older, were overweight. Of these, over 650 million were obese. 39% of adults aged 18 and over were overweight in, nine, in 2016. 13% were obese. 13% uh, were obese. Most of the world population live in countries where overweight and obesity kills more people than underweight. 39 million children under the age of five were overweight in 2020 or obese. Over 340 million children and adolescents aged between 5 and 19 are overweight or obese in 2016. Obesity, the tragic thing about it is that obesity is preventable. What are obesity and overweight? Overweight and obesity are defined as normal or excessive, abnormal, sorry, or excessive fat accumulation that impairs, that may impair health. I don't like the word may because it will impair health. Body mass index is a simple index for weight for height that is commonly used to classify overweight and obesity in adult. It is defined as person weight in kilogram divided by the square of his height in meters, kilogram per square meter. In adult, WHO defined overweight as BMI 25 and obese as 30. The BMI provide the most useful population level measure of overweight and obesity, as it is the same for both sexes and for all ages and adults. However, it should be considered a rough guide because it may not correspond to the same degree of fatness in different individuals. In, in 2019, an estimated 38.2 million children under the age of five were either overweight or obese. Once considered high income country problem, overweight and obesity are now in rise in the middle and low income countries, particularly in urban setting. In Africa, the number of overweight children under the age of five has increased nearly 24% since 2000. Almost half of the children under five were overweight or obese uh, in, in 2019 that lived in Asia. Over 340 million children and adolescents between five and 19 were overweight or obese. In 2016, the prevalence of overweight and obesity among children and adolescents risen dramatically 4%. In 1975, just over 18% in 2016. The rise has occurred similarly among both type, both boys and girls. In 2016, 18% of girls and 19% of boys were overweight. 2000, uh, while just under 1% of children and adolescents between five and nine were obese in 75, more than 124 million children and adolescents, 6% in girls, 8% of boys are overweight or obese. What causes obesity and overweight? The fundamental cause of obesity and overweight is energy imbalance between uh, calories consumed and calories expended. Globally, there has been increased intake of energy-dense food that are full in fat and sugar, an increase in physical inactivity due to increasingly sedentary nature of many forms of work, changing the mode of transportation, Increase urbanization. Changes in dietary and physical activity pattern are often results of environmental and social changes associated with the development and lack of supportive policies in sections such as health, agriculture, transport, urban planning, environmental food processing, distribution, marketing, and education. While just under 1% of children and adolescents between five to nine are obese in 1975, more than 124 million children 
and adolescents. Six percent girls, eight percent boys are obese in 2016. Overweight and obesity are linked to more death worldwide than underweight. Globally, there are more people who are obese than underweight. This occurs even in region, except parts of Sahara Desert, Africa, and Asia. The common health consequences of overweight and obesity, when the BMI increases, there are many risk factors for non-communicable disease, increased risk of cardiovascular disorder that leads to death, also diabetes, musculoskeletal disorder like osteoarthritis, which is a highly disabling degenerative disease of the joint, some cancer, endometrial cancer, ovarian cancer, prostate, liver, gallbladder, kidney, colon, are all linked to obesity. The risk of these non-communicable disease increases with the increasing BMI. Childhood obesity is associated with other, higher chance uh, of obesity, premature death, and disability in adulthood. But in addition to increased future risk, obese children experience breathing difficulty, increased risk of a fracture, hypertension, early markers of cardiovascular disease, insulin resistance, and psychological factors. How can we reduce this problem? It is largely preventative. Supportive environment and community are fundamental in, shape, in shaping the people choice by making the choices healthier food, regular physical activity, the easiest choice that is most accessible and valuable, available, affordable, therefore preventing overweight and obesity. At the individual level, people can limit energy uh, intake from the total fat and sugar, increases consumption of fruit and vegetables, as well as legumes, whole grain nuts, and engage in regular physical activity, like 60 minutes a day for children, 150 minutes spread throughout the week for adults. Individual responsibility can only have full effect where people have access to healthy lifestyle. Therefore, the society, at societal level, it's important to support individual in following recommendation above through sustained implementation of evidence-based and population-based policies that makes regular physical activity and healthier diet are the choice available, affordable, and easily accessible to everyone, particularly those poor individuals. An example of such policy is tax on sugar sweetened beverages the food industry can play insignificant can play a significant role in promoting healthy diets by reducing fat sugar salt content of processed food ensuring that healthy and nutritious choices are available and affordable at all consumers ensuring healthy uh, that healthy nutritious choices are available and affordable restricting marketing of food that is high in sugar, salt, and fat, especially those that aimed at children and teenagers, and ensuring the availability of healthy food choices and supporting regular physical activity uh, in pra practice in workplace. We face a double burden of malnutrition. Many low and middle income countries now facing double burden of malnutrition. While these countries continue to deal with the problem of infectious disease and undernutrition, they are also experiencing a rapid upsurge in the non-communicable diseases, risk factors like obesity, overweight, particularly in urban setting. It is not uncommon to find undernutrition and obesity coexisting in the same community. Children in low and middle class income uh, countries are more vulnerable to inadequate prenatal, infant, and young uh, children nutrition. At the same time, these children are exposed to high fat, high sugar, high salt, energy dense, micronutrient poor food, which tend to lower, be lower in cost, but also lower in nutritious quality. These dietary sub pattern in conjunction with the lower level of physical activity result in sharp increase in uh, childhood obesity while undernutrition remain the problem that is unsolved. What factors contribute uh, to healthy or unhealthy weight? Many factors intervene 
uh, mainly the behavior, lifestyle, environment, economic factors, family history, and genetics, metabolism. Although people from community with few resources who have food insecurity or face other similar issues tend to have a high risk of developing uh, obesity, NHBLI funded research found an unhealthy lifestyle habits can worsen the risk of obesity in people who have genetic risk for obesity. You cannot change some of these factors. For example, the gene you inherit from your parent that determine how tall you are, but you can replace unhealthy habits with good ones. The World Health Organization uh, adopted uh, the assembly in 2004, uh, recognized uh, in a 2011 political declaration on non-communicable diseases that the strategy on diet and physical activity and health describes the action needed to support healthy diet, regular physical activity. Um, the strategy also upon all stakeholder to take action as global, regional, local level to improve diet and physical activity pattern. The 2030 Agenda of Sustainable Development recognizes the non-communicable diseases as the major challenge for sustainable development. As part of the agenda, heads of state government committed to develop ambitious national response by 2030 to reduce one third of premature mortality uh, from non-communicable diseases through the prevention and treatment. The Global Action Plan on Physical Activity in 2018 to 2030, uh, more active for healthier world, uh, provides effective and feasible policy and action to increase the physical activity globally. WHO published active technical package to assist countries in planned planning and delivery of their responses. New WHO guideline on physical activity, sedentary behavior, and sleeping children under the five years of age are launched in 2019. The World Health Organization Assembly welcomed the report of Commission on Ending Childhood Obesity in 2016 and its sixth recommendation to address obesogenic environment critical period in life course to tackle childhood obesity. The implementation plan to guide countries in taking action to implement the recommendation of commission was welcomed by the World Health Organization in 2017. That brings us to the conclusion of the presentation of today. I hope it has given you useful information on the dangers and the risk, and that you will pay attention to what you eat and cut down on dense, fatty, sugary food. Uh, thank you very much. Today our slide is about the shocking truth about diet, obese, overweight, at the menopause. WHO Assembly in 2004 recognized again 2011 political declaration on non-communicable diseases. The WHO Global Strategy on Diet, Physical Activity, and Health described the action needed to support healthy diet, regular physical activity. The strategy calls upon all stakeholders to take action at the global, regional, local level to improve diet, physical activity pattern at that population level. The 2030 Agenda sustainable for Sustainable Development recognizes non-communicable disease, which is what is called NCD, as major challenge of sustainable development. As part of the agenda, heads of the state and government committed to develop ambitious national response by 2030 to reduce by one-third premature mortality from NCDs through prevention and treatment. The Global Action Plan on Physical Activity 2018 to 2030, more active people for a healthier world, provide effective and feasible policy action to increase the physical activity globally. WHO active and technical, a technical package to assist countries in planning and deliver these response. 
WHO guideline, new one, uh, on physical activity, sedentary behavior, and sleep in children, and their five years of age were launched in 2019. Active, uh, the World Health Assembly welcomed the report of the Commission on Ending Childhood Obesity and its six recommendation to address the obesogenic environment, including a critical period in life course to tackle childhood obesity. Implementation plan to guide countries in taking action to implement the recommendation of the Commission was welcomed by the World Health Assembly in 2017.